Okay, I've now confirmed that the scene is safe to proceed. I will now ensure that I provide privacy and dignity to the patient. Next, we will perform hand hygiene, and first I will check the expiry date of the hand gel. So the hand gel is in date. We will now take some, and we will now perform the seven steps of hand hygiene. Hi, my name's Richard. Can I ask your preferred name, please? Yeah, it's Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Nice to meet you. I'll be looking after you today. Um, I just want to check that you're comfortable. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Perfect. So I would ensure a three-way ID check and ensure that the patient has an allergy band if applicable. Sophie, I can see that you have an allergy band on your arm. What are you allergic to? Penicillin. And what reaction do you have if you take penicillin? I get anaphylaxis and I can't breathe. Okay, so we'll make sure that you don't have any of that during your stay with us. Sophie, we're here to give you a suppository today. Have you had one before? I haven't, no. Okay, so I'll explain a little bit about the procedure. So we will give the medicine into your rectum and this should help with some of the inflammation that you've had from your joint pain, okay? Now you can experience some side effects from that, which could be some nausea and some stomach pain, but hopefully that will subside. Are you happy to proceed with this? Yeah, that's fine. Perfect, okay. Obviously at this point I would ask for a, a chaperone uh, to be with as I'm a male nurse. So what we will need to do now, Sophie, is get you onto your left lateral side with your buttocks as close to the edge of the bed as possible, if that is okay. Yeah, that's fine. Next, we will prepare the equipment we need for the procedure. This will include a incontinence pad, two times gauze squares, one times lubricating jelly, ensuring it has ex within its expiry date, and the diclofenac suppository.